Hello, so welcome to my YouTube channel, The Guru Chronicles. Please do watch my very short welcome video. It will tell you more about uh, things that I will be offering in my YouTube channel. So for today, I'm going to discuss uh, how to make Google Meet meetings more efficient. So these are must-have five important extensions for teachers. Of course, one advantage again is uh, for our Google Meet experience to be more efficient. Um, with this extension, we can only use just one device instead of having two or three screen, um, what they call these monitors. And at the end of this um, five extensions, I'll be, um, I will show you how or why capturing the screen is safe because it's because of this one extension. So the first one is the grid view. Okay, now this is the icon for the grid view. Uh, for the purpose of this video, I'll just show you how to install it. So once you click on the link, um, for this one, instead of remove from Chrome, it will say add from Chrome. Click on that one and then just add extension and you will see the grid view at the top of your computer. That's a signal that you have installed it already. Okay, now this is the advantage of having the grid view so before when you are in your google meet when you are presenting you cannot see your students um probably just one or two students at the side but with the grid view you'll be able to see both your presentation and all the participants or your students at the same time so this is advisable for a, a meeting with a large group of uh, students so let me just show you how it works so let's go to our me google meet when you click on this one look how it transitions so when it has the slash at the middle it means you are not using the grid view when you click on it okay it will make the um, screens of the other students smaller and smaller depending on how many students are there and at the same time you'll be able to see also your presentation in one of um, the screens okay so the next google extension is nod reaction so um, this is so helpful when you are doing your google meet it allows you to see your audience reactions so there's no need to act um, actually type your responses in the chat box one advantage of this nod reaction extension is again yes as what we have said earlier before you tell your students to put their responses in the chat box so you will know they have questions but now you can actually see them um, give you a thumbs up probably when they agree or raise their hand when they have questions so let me just show you how it works okay so let's say you are in your google meet and one of your students since their mics are all muted if somebody raises their hand you can actually see it on this they can um, choose their icons from here so this is for the um, hand icons and this one is for the raise your hands icon so Joe will raise their hand okay the downside of this one is when you are on your presentation mode you won't be able to see their reactions that's why this next extension will um, let you both see your presentation and your Google Meet tab. Our next extension is the dual less or the Windows Splitter extension. So if you have only one device and you want to see your students on one screen and can be able to navigate on your presentation on one monitor. So let me just show you how it works. So let's say you're on your Google Meet. The icon for this one is, let me just show you. 
this one okay so you'll find it in here when you click on this it will prompt you to choose which frame do you prefer so as for me I would always prefer to choose the half half okay so here so you can actually navigate on your presentation on this you can move forward or backwards on your presentation while seeing your Google Meet tab so while you are presenting you'll be able to see those students who are raising their hands giving you emojis and the like so isn't that really cool now if you want to revert back to your original screen or just the one screen you just click on this the icon again and choose just one window okay and there you go before and after okay. the next one the fourth one is attendance teachers who have big group of class would really love to have this extension so it automatically re um, records your attendance and you can view it in Google sheet the icon for this is an apple with a check if the apple turns red it means your attendance is active so where do you see if it's turned on or not so you click on the people icon which is this one so as of now i have four attendees so click on this plus it means it will create a new spreadsheet for this attendance click on this and if it's turned on you have to i mean if it's turned off you have to turn it on so again let me turn that off first so click on a new spreadsheet turn it on You'll know if it's turned on because this icon will show you how many students are in your class. So if you want to view that spreadsheet, click on this and you should be able to get your attendance. So as of now, I have uh, I have four students in my Google Meet. And you also have the date so you don't have to worry about uh, writing the date as well. So easy as one, two, three now okay I've showed you a little bit of this one so before you usually take your attendance on paper um, with that extension you'll now be able to see your attendance on a spreadsheet now the last one and this is for students and teachers as well this is called the push to talk extension this is another way of muting and unmuting your mic using the space bar so just one click away instead of browsing through our computer pads so okay. for this extension to work properly at the beginning of your at the beginning of your meet uh, meeting you should manually you should manually turn on or turn off your mic okay now that I've done that let me try pressing my space bar if it will unmute my mic okay there you go now if I want to unmute my mic see okay just one click away with the space bar Okay, so those are the five extensions um, that are that will be very helpful when we do our Google Meet. If you want to record your meeting, but you don't want you don't want um, the names of your students or any of your attendees to be seen, this is in um, in relation to the grid view extension so let me just show you how to do that if your grid view is disabled the names of your students appear on the screen so if you want to record this meeting and don't want these names to appear then you have to 
click on this one enable screen capture mode okay so it won't display your students names okay and then start recording so click on this three but um, three dots on this side record meeting okay accept you'll know if it's recording because it has this re um, red icon at the top so once you stop recording it you do the same stop recording okay stop the recording file or the recorded video will be sent to your um, gmail account or whichever account you are using for your google meet so subscribe na po kayo para sabay-sabay tayong matuto ng